Good morning, tubers. Matt M. Roy back again. Back to you on a Friday morning. Bet you guys are wondering where I've been. Well, still on vacation. Thought we were going to have a lot more better days, but it has just stopped raining since I filmed the vlog two days ago. That's right, guys. It has been that nasty here. Um, I was not expecting this at all. I knew that they had said there were going to be periods of rain, but it has been consistently rainy since we got here, and it's just been a real bummer. We've literally been stuck in the trailer and just nothing good to film, so if I have anything good to film, I'm not going to do it. Well, you guys may notice I look a little different. I'm actually using my Canon Vixia today. Uh, my cell phone's inside on the charger, and I thought I'd go ahead and switch it up a little bit. I do want to show you guys just a little bit around the campground right now. Believe it or not, it is going to rain again. That's right. It's going to rain at least for another three or four hours this afternoon, and then it should be nice for the rest of the trip here. Isn't that always the way it is when you go on a trip and you want to do things? The weather never plays nice. So let me turn you around and I'll show you what we've been up to since it stopped raining. This is our campsite right here. <laughs> we haven't even bothered taking the bikes off yet because of all the rain. I just want to go and make sure these things aren't rusting. I don't think mine will. Mine is like a titanium on there, but Dad's, eh, you know, I think Dad's is too, so I think we should be good. You see we got some garbage sitting right there. <laughs> Mom's bike, on the other hand, is not. Hers is just a regular steel bike, but looks like everything's pretty good. We don't really have a tarp or anything to cover these with, unfortunately. Um, this is the campsite here. You guys have seen our trailer before. Um, we'll show you the hookups that they have. Now, this is, ours is basically the same, but on the other side. Got nice water pressure. Lots of really nice water pressure here. A lot of times you do not get that in most campgrounds. A lot of times because there are so many sites, the uh, pressure kind of decreases, especially with the more people you have. But luckily, as you can see, most of our neighbors have gone now. Uh, power is right here. Let's see if I can pull this up. Yep, 30 amp service right here. They do have ones that are 50 amp, you can see. I don't know if I can get it that clear or not, but you guys can see this is a 30 amp breaker here. So, nice, good enough for what we have. 50 amp sites are for like the big um, bluebirds and the really big motorhomes that require tons and tons of power. Here's the uh, sewer right here, nice and clean. Thank God. <laughs> no sewer gas smells or anything like that. This is site number three. We we're actually sitting in site number two. So very nice campground, Belden Hill. This is in Belden, New York. Same uh, town, or right next to the town where April the Giraffe had her baby. Even though technically um, this is Belden, because Belden, New York does not have a post office, they use a Harpersville uh, mailing address. One thing I'm a little disappointed in is the picnic table itself. The picnic table is very small. You would struggle to fit four big size people on here, but you know what, that's fine because inside that little compartment right there, we actually have a picnic table that came with the trailer. Let's see if I can open that up and show you guys. It is very windy out today, I am sorry about that. Uh, you can see it right back there. You can kind of see the legs, so we we'll have to try to pull that out later, provided it's not raining. I have my original Coleman stove still sitting in there with a whole bunch of uh, fuel left. That's another thing I haven't been able to do is use the Coleman stove to cook out because of all the rain. I do have it set up, but it is sitting right underneath the trailer so it doesn't get wet. The first day we got here, I set it up, was getting ready to cook, and uh, the storm started, so... It is unfortunate, but we as humans cannot control the weather. All right, so this is coming to the main office right here. The owner actually lives behind there, so it's really convenient for him. Has a really pretty garden over here. I'm actually surprised as cold it's been that these uh, flowers haven't died. So we've got some daisies here. I see some, uh, I think those are petunias down there too. I bet you this is really, really pretty during the summer. I'm not a uh, florist or a, not a green, let's put this way, I don't have a green thumb. <laughs> so I'm not exactly sure, but I tell you, they look really nice. I couldn't wait to see this in the summer. Maybe we'll come back here uh, next year sometime. But 
really, really pretty. And then, of course, he's got, I think, a vegetable garden down there. Got some uh, really, really uh, shaded sites there, of course. It's still too cold here for the leaves to have come back on the trees, so everything's pretty much open right now. Once again, there's the utility, sh and utility shed and garage. Oh, I can't even talk today, guys. I haven't had my second cup of coffee yet. <laughs> Well, let's see what we got up here. Well, you guys can see how windy it is. Those bird feet are rocking around like crazy. I'm not going to be able to stay out here too much longer without a jacket. But you can see he does chop wood. He's got a huge pile of wood back there. I think he sells that for about $5 a bushel. So it's not too bad, though. I think if we're going to do a farm, my uncle can bring us some, uh, some wood here. He's got a lot of stuff to burn. Here's the propane refilling station. That's funny. Suburban propane is very popular up here in New York, when, where we used to live about three hours away from here in uh, Carmel. That's used to supply the propane to our house, so we're a really big conglomerate up here in uh, New York State, not necessarily the city. This is absolutely beautiful. A lot of robins are uh, flying around here today. Now, what actually happens, I'm not going to do this right now, but the way this campground works, there's a lake or a pond right at the top here, and it circles all the way around the pond and comes back and around here. So it's kind of like one big circle, and then with a little bump out here for the seasonal people. This this area over here, and the ones at the top of the hill there, I don't know if you guys can see that from here, they're all, um, they stay for the season, because a lot of these have decks and things, so what they must do, they pay uh, probably rent for a year, and then they just come up here and enjoy their... Uh, vacations here and it's a nice area up here I must say I'm very impressed it's nice and quiet a lot of solitude up here but it's also not that far from uh, main shopping centers like you got Johnson City, Binghamton, um, Vestal so it is a definitely a nice place to uh, have a little bit of a vacation and as you can see there somebody's actually parked their uh, prowler oh, that's a long one that's got to be an older 34 foot but I think this is like a little parking area for people that want to store their trailers. Well, I'm getting cold, so I'm going to go back inside, and we'll see what the rest of the day brings. I'll talk to you guys a little later. All right, tubers. So, finally getting a rest here. I'm sitting drinking my second cup of coffee. Mmm. Yeah, now we're just discussing the lighting situation in here. You know, it, you can put a lot of lights on the trailer, and it gets pretty bright, but it's still not enough light, quite enough light for this camcorder, and I don't know why. This is a very good Canon Vixia camcorder, but for some reason this thing needs a lot of light to work properly. Well, Mom and Dad have been planning their trip across country, trying to figure out what sites they want to see. Um, they're doing they're doing pretty well. What are you up to now? What state, you think? North Carolina. 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 Okay, they're, doing, they're still in the Carolinas, but they're trying to figure out where they want to go. They said there's a lot of, um, there's a few gem mines you might want to see, and then there was also, what, a um, caves, a, a cave waterfall. site, and a waterfall. There's a lot of things to do in this country, and that's why they want to do this cross-country trip, because they want to see America first, and then maybe branch out. They're going to maybe plan on going to Canada the following year, but um, there's a lot of things that they, neither of them have seen in America, and... Uh, me too. I mean, I'm not going uh, across country with them, but I will be meeting them uh, sometime in the beginning of June. I'm going to still fly out to Vegas. That is a go. Been saving up for that for a while. Um, I'm sorry I haven't had a lot of interesting content here, guys. Like I said, it's just been too rainy. There really isn't that much to film when it's raining. We wound up doing some shopping yesterday. I did go back to Boscov's. Um, I could not film the elevators inside because it was just too busy that day. They were doing some cleaning, and um, I just didn't want to hold the elevators up. And I did go out and try to film the, uh, um, the what was that, The uh, either the Otis or the ThyssenKrupp. There's still some uh, debate about that parking garage elevator, and unfortunately that thing wasn't working. I did do an epic fail uh, video that I may or may not upload that though because eh, to me what's the point it's just me sitting there pushing the button going to the different floors trying to figure out where it was I think what had happened I believe the elevator was on the first floor because when you push the button I could actually hear the elevator trying to do something the motor would activate to bring it try to bring it back up 
to the level because I think it under leveled and probably got stuck there so it just would not doors would not open I went up to the second third and fourth level and tried to call it uh, I went up the stairs and nothing so I just basically gave up at the end I said epic fail I just want to put makeup on. Well, okay mom's just getting dressed we've been very no. lazy today <laughs> yeah, it's noon and uh, they, they just getting dressed now so you know what I was actually dressed earlier than you guys for a change usually at home I'm uh, I'm out. I'm I'm in bed till nine thirty, ten o'clock sometimes. So it always seems like when I'm on a vacation, I want to get up earlier because I don't want to miss out on the day's activities, basically. But again, I still gotta have my coffee. I went to the um, local village variety. I know I've shown you that before um, in green, and I picked up an eighteen pack of the Mick Cafe Colombian K cups for five dollars and fifty cents. Fantastic deal there. I may go back and buy some more, but the guy was saying he didn't have too many left, so I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna make it because we had we were supposed to go there yesterday. Oh, Dad's getting a phone call. But we had a little breakdown with the truck, so there was nothing major. It was just a brake line. We got that fixed fairly quickly. I'm going to pause the video while he answers that phone, and I'll pick it up in a few minutes. Hey, John. All right, tubers. Well, we have some company coming in about an hour or two, so we decided to head out to one of the local uh, country stores. We're going to the Nineveh, New York country store. It's about 5.7 miles from here. And uh, I'll film a little bit in there if I can. It should be interesting. I love these little small town country store, general store type places. And uh, since we had a couple extra hours, we figured, eh, why not? Because uh, they're not going to be here till about 2 and it's just afternoon right now. So let's go ahead and see what this is like. I'll talk to you when we get there. All right, Tuber, so we are in Nineveh, New York. Mom and Dad are just getting out, and we decided to check out this little country store here, the Nineveh Country Store. Got a little truck coming. Got to wait for them. Wow, look at this big uh, rock truck that's heading our way. <laughs> Good now. Looks like they do sell uh, some type of fuel, probably uh, unleaded gas. go inside oh this is cool this reminds me a little of the store in uh, driver pick one up oh my gosh check this out those are humongous oh I might have to get one of those before we leave morning a lot of baked goods. They got little uh, mashed potatoes. They got like fried fish and egg rolls. Mac and cheese sure looks good. Oh boy, look at this. Got an egg clair there. Oh, carrot cake. Looks like they do a lot of their own baking here. This looks heavenly. This is so cool. You rarely get to see these nice old country stores anymore. Hey guys. Beautiful, beautiful old brickwork. This probably... <laughs> Guess what guys? It's wallpaper. <laughs> that is so funny. You got a little area for some groceries. I need to pick up a thing of tissues. Matter of fact, I will pick up one of those up. We're going to go ahead and do some shopping here. I just thought we'd show you guys this absolutely beautiful old country store. I love these shelves. These are definitely vintage. Probably early 1900s. And of course, you got your beer section. Mom's calling me. What? what what's a. Now, nah, we'll find it. Oh, there. He's got it up there. Oh, Dad found the milk. Awesome. We're going to do a little bit more shopping, check this out, and I'll catch up with you guys a little bit later. What a beautiful country store, though. All right, tubers, so they just pointed this out to me. This is the way this building used to look back in the day. Just thought that was really, really cool. Check this out, guys. It's a little faded, but man, what a difference. Absolutely beautiful. All right, tubers, so we just left the country store, and I found out from the owner this was actually built in the late 1800s, and that picture that I snapped right before is when it was actually freshly built so it had to be in the late 1800s we're thinking like 1870s 1880s probably at about the same time that a lot of the buildings in green were, were erected so 
really really cool country store got a little bit of a food review for you guys let's go ahead and pull this out they had some really good looking pizza but i decided to try their homemade mac and cheese you can look there it is still steaming i bet it'll steam up the lens here this looks absolutely heavenly it reminds me of the mac and cheese that i used to get at the um now i can't think of the name of that place uh Bennett's Creek Farm Market, which had excellent mac and cheese, too. So let's go ahead and take a bite of that. Give you guys a little close-up view. Look how creamy that is. You can just see the cheese oozing off this. Let's go in for a bite. Mm. Oh, my gosh. That is heavenly. Go ahead and do another double take on this one. That is the creamiest mac and cheese I've ever had. Think of the cheesiest, the creamiest macaroni and cheese you've ever eaten. This has got to be even better than that. I know I'm gonna get, I know I'm gonna piss somebody off because they're gonna say, "Oh, my grandmother, my mother's mac and cheese is better." This is to die for. I have never had mac and cheese this good. Sorry, mom. For store bought anyway. <laughs> for store bought. Well, I'm not really offended here. Mom knows I really don't like the one that she makes. No. She bakes it. See, I'd rather have it just like this. But I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. We got to head back because we got friends coming really shortly. And I will pick this vlog up later. Talk to you in a little All bit. All right, tubers. So we have the hibachi lit. Dad helped me out with it. We put the awning down. And we didn't really want to light it <laughs> when it was under there. So we figured we'd light it over here just in case the flames shot up really high. So we're waiting for that to uh, settle down. Then we're going to be able to cook our burgers. We got some... Um, hot dogs and some sausage so it's going to be an interesting day as you can see the uh, clouds have definitely rolled back in so i think rain is definitely uh, a large probably 80 90 percent possibility at this point but we went ahead and moved the picnic table underneath the awning and that's where the hibachi is going to be when when it's done uh, heating up so and it's already starting to rain so i'm going to put this down we're going to go ahead and put this back under here and i will talk to you guys in a little bit all right tubers so our guests have arrived i'm out here cooking like i usually do you can see we got some hot italian sausages here these are those johnsonville grillers these are the cheddar infused and the bacon infused and they are cooking up nicely got a nice hot uh, coals under there I have the regular Kingsford charcoal with a few of the mesquite bricks placed evenly around to give that nice smoky flavor. Oh, this is going to taste really good. I put these on first because these will take the longest. Burgers were frozen. Oddly enough, you actually have to cook these from frozen, which uh, a lot of people didn't know. Mom didn't know that. <laughs> so uh, learn, live and learn, right? So we did it right this time. And coming over here. I have the uh, beans set up, so I'll probably do those last. Got to cook some hot dogs, and we're going to enjoy the rest of this beautiful day. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> I got to keep my eye on these, make sure they don't get burnt. And uh, I'll talk to you a little bit later tonight. All right, tubers. Well, it's uh, 7.15, and I'm getting pretty tired. We're, our company just left, so I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. Hope you guys really enjoyed it. Please remember to like and subscribe. And as always... Have a blessed day, everybody.